Hi everyone, Maureen Sweeney here. So um, in a condominium association, uh, as well as in a master plan community dash pod, um, there is something known as the bylaws. And the bylaws, they give the uh, guidance as well as the requirements for the board of directors. Okay, so there's going to be a board of directors in an association. In most cases, the board of directors are not paid. So these are neighbors, there's a president, typically a president, secretary, treasurer, those are the three main ones. They may have assistants, secretary, assistant, treasurer. It depends upon how large the association is. But the bylaws will tell you what are the established um, requirements for each one of those officers. Also, it will say how many times you, the board meets, what are their responsibilities. And in general, the responsibility of the board of directors is to take care of the bills as well as the maintenance of the common elements, okay? So they have to you know, come up with a budget, they have to uh, come up with meetings, meaning, and those meetings must be publicly posted so that way they're open to the public. Can't do a lot of stuff in private because they're part of it, an entire or, um, association. So make sure that uh, you go to your meetings if you're gonna be going to, um, if you're gonna become a member of an, asso uh, an association, go to the meetings. Find out what, how they're going to be spending your money because you're going to be paying assessments. And so they will be taking those funds and paying the bills to make sure the association is running in a good and workmanlike manner. Okay, that's very important. Also remember that the association that um, condominiums and PUDs are uh, not-for-profit organizations. So they have to file taxes and that information really must be uh, documented accordingly and the board of directors does that. So the bylaws will talk about the board of directors, what are the um, responsibilities of the board of directors, how do you get rid of someone who's on the board that you don't like, how many times they meet, when do you vote for them, how long is their term. So keep that in mind. In the covenants, conditions, and restrictions of a PUD, there's another, sec there's another section which is the bylaws read them, know how the association is going to be governed. Okay, that's it. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.